Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with partnership basis. And without getting very detailed, because these rules are very, very complicated, uh, but I want you to have an idea if you're involved in a partnership, just so you have some idea what's going on, but you absolutely should be dealing with a tax professional if you have this situation. In order to deduct losses, let's say that you're in a partnership and you're a 50% partner and the partner ha partnership has a $20,000 loss. So you have $10,000 of loss allocated to you. In order for you to be able to take that loss, you have to have basis in the partnership. Basis in a partnership comes from property contributed to the partnership. It's increased by any income allocated to the partner. And it's also increased by any debts incurred by the partnership to which the uh, partner is also liable in case the partnership defaults. Basis is reduced by any withdrawals made by the partner any losses allocated to that partner, and any reduction in partnership debt. But what's very important to realize, there's something also called at-risk basis. Just because a partner has basis doesn't mean they have at-risk basis. For example, if the partnership incurs a $50,000 debt, which, assuming there's two partners, would normally be allocated $25,000 to partner one and $25,000 to partner two, it's important to realize if the partners have no ultimate responsibility for that debt, that will not increase their at-risk basis, which is needed to deduct the losses. So in other words, let's say the $50,000 was borrowed from a family member and there's no condition that if the partnership defaults on the debt that the partners have to repay it. Even though they would get basis because the partnership incurred a $50,000 debt, they would not have at-risk basis because they have no ultimate personal responsibility. Uh, this is a concept that's very important. The reason I'm bringing it out to you, even though it's a little complicated, and again, I stress that if you have a situation where you're trying to deduct a loss from a partnership, I urge you with everything I can think of to talk to a tax professional. But the reason I bring this, this up is I just had a situation where this occurred with uh, a client of mine who had borrowed money from a relative and they thought they had basis to take a thirty thousand dollar loss for the year and when we were finished with the return i had to inform them unfortunately they were not entitled to take the loss and that's important you don't want to take a loss reduce your taxable income get this huge refund and then find out two years later when the irs comes knocking on your door that you were wrong and you owe penalties interest and everything else so again i don't expect you to understand all of these rules or remember everything but if you have a partnership and you are trying to deduct any losses, please check with a tax professional and make sure you have the proper at-risk basis in order to take the loss. Hope this helps you out. See you next week. Thank you.